Let's investigate the difference in the width of a confidence interval for a z-confidence interval compared to a t-confidence interval for the population mean mu. Recall that the 95% confidence interval for mu when sigma is known is given by x bar plus or minus a z critical value times sigma divided by the square root of n. The 95% confidence interval for mu when sigma is unknown is given by x bar plus or minus t star with n minus 1 degrees of freedom times s divided by the square root of n, the sample standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. Where do these formulas differ? x bar is the same in both. The critical values are different. One uses a z critical value from a normal distribution. The other uses a t critical value from a t distribution. Sigma and s differ, but for this particular problem, let's assume that sigma and s are equal. I want to compare the width of the intervals strictly on z star compared to t star. Now let's just recall the differences between a standard normal distribution and a t distribution. At the bottom, I have graphed the normal 0, 1 distribution compared to a t distribution with one degree of freedom. Recall that a t distribution is symmetric like the normal distribution, but it has heavier tails. What does it mean if, it, if the distribution has heavier tails? Let's locate the critical value z star and t star in our graphs below. Where will z star be for a 95% confidence interval? It might be somewhere around here, meaning 95% of the area in the standard normal curve is between z star and negative z star. Because there is more area in the tails of a t distribution and less in the center, to get 95% of the area under the t distribution, our critical values are going to be larger when compared to the standard normal distribution. So it appears that the confidence interval using a t critical value will be wider than the one using the standard normal distribution. Let's find what the critical values are for these two distributions. The critical value z star for a 95% confidence interval does not depend on the sample size. The z critical value for 95% confidence interval is given by 1.96. The critical value for a t distribution, the 95% confidence interval, does depend on the sample size. Let's suppose the sample size in our problem is 16. We need to calculate the critical value from a t distribution with 15 degrees of freedom. It turns out that this critical value for the 95% confidence interval is given by 2.131. So in fact, the critical value when sigma is unknown is larger than the critical value that you would use when sigma is known. So you will have a wider confidence interval when using the t confidence interval as compared to the z confidence interval.